I have hired this Eddie Gordo to stare at you. Hi everybody, Rudy Fruity here. Coming at you with a Tekken video. And we are talking about the recent update that had dropped earlier this week. Or Tekken 8. And a lot of people are getting pretty upset with the changes being made and the additions to the game. And also there are just some straight up bugs that have been... Um, there's a side effect of some of the uh, implementations they've made with the newest patch. So that's also just upsetting. Uh, so yeah, first thing I want to talk about is the fight pass because some people feel pretty mixed about it. Um, like I think I'm, I'm mostly here like people being kind of upset about it. I feel two ways about it. I'm one, I am pretty... Like I know games these days, they kind of need to have some sort of like like live game feature for people to want to keep playing like a game is kind of considered dead if there's no updates that's just kind of how it is and with that in mind i think a fight pass is a pretty good way to keep people's attention on the game now some people are kind of upset that like the stuff that people really want like the uh, custom items, which I know in the base game, a lot of people were feeling that the custom items were kind of lacking in uh, the base game. And I, I just kind of, well, I mean, everybody knew that this was coming, that uh, that custom items were going to be like a DLC item, or whatever. Um, and sure enough, that is the case. Uh, I do wish that more custom items were free. <laughs> I mean, you do. Okay, let's see what we get here. Actually, you get you get the 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 the, the, the what's it called? The plague mask. You get the karate shorts, uh, and then you get the karate top at the highest level. That's okay. I know people really want the crop top here. <laughs> uh, that it's, it's it's just a cute outfit thing. Yeah, uh, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good that, you know, there are some custom items that are free just from playing the game every single day, but I wish there was more, <laughs> uh, you know, like, cause you know, the game in itself is kind of lacking and yeah, I Maybe it's just too soon to include a fighter pass. I don't know. I, I really don't know how they could have done this in a way that would have made more people happy. Maybe if they just made more custom items, uh, the free items you could get for this game rather than these like titles and uh, profile uh, poses. <laughs> like who cares about these? Um, like I think I think that sort of fluff stuff should really be for like the people who really want to support the game. Um, yeah, I the only thing I can think of is more custom items for free, and all the little fluff stuff could be extra, like pay premium for that. Uh, and also kind of talking about this is more of like a previous update but the character cost costumes and um the, the, the custom items as well that you could just buy here for like what five bucks that's pretty expensive <laughs> I, I think it's really expensive especially considering that you know there's like a huge cast of characters see one two three four just here alone is 20 bucks worth of costumes that is what <laughs> like i part of me gets it like you know it's still like kind of ass <laughs> let's be real what if he gets it just because it's like you know like i said like a game without support post-launch just won't get that much attention but i don't think this is the way to do it <laughs> uh 
Yeah. And I I probably wouldn't mind the DLC as much if it wasn't like so expensive. And I think the real scummy thing though is doing it after reviews came out. <laughs> that's 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 kind of you know fly me. <laughs> um and he, another thing that I think about this whole practice though is that the game itself like when you press buttons and you do something that in itself feels like fine to me I, I kind of because <laughs> like I said there are bugs the bugs that happen like during rage arts especially that's kind of a big deal right now like your uh, rage arts can get just canceled out like you just stop or you could have king do a throw and all of a sudden because because you can't land the grab when someone does a rage art like he's then able to freely move during the animation of the rage art which is uh really funny <laughs> but also like it's the broken part of the game that needs attention so yeah i i know a lot of people are getting really doom and gloom about the game I personally am gonna continue to play the game. I bought the fighter pass. I do intend to play the game for a long time because I love Tekken. And Tekken 8 is fun. And lucky for me that I have some close friends that also like to play the game. So yeah, it's something that we're gonna regularly come back to. But not everybody's like that. Uh, not everybody has that sort of friend group that could play the game. And for them, maybe a fight pass isn't like are going to be a regular thing for them and maybe they'll just get the occasional costume i would really like um the maybe the fight pass would also include some of the tekken coins just like a minuscule amount <laughs> like make it enough for like half a costume you know like so then like after like like two fighter passes then you could get one of the costumes here for free like that would be amazing uh i think that would be like probably a better like that would, that would please a lot of people if they could eventually get at least one costume for free every few months uh yeah that, that's one thing i could think of But yeah, I, one thing I heard is that uh, Bandai Namco, like one of their uh, games that came out with, did not do too well. And because of that, it, it the financial burden then comes to Tekken. <laughs> so, which is why there's all this nonsense all over the place. But yeah, that, that, that's, I guess that's the video. Uh, just me kind of yammering on about Tekken Shop. That's really what this video should be called. Me yammering about the Tekken Shop. Uh, but yeah, if you like Tekken, subscribe. I do a variety of content on here and Tekken content is some of the stuff I do. So if you like that, stick around. Uh, yeah, subscribing is the best way to support the channel. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the game so far and like does this like whole like extra like custom items being like behind a paywall like does that bother you at all let me know okay thank you very much for watching take care